Uh, I'm Father Paul Marx, chairman of Human Life International, located at 7845 Air Park Road in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And this morning I had an interesting experience. I attended the breakfast of the Catholic Business Network of Montgomery County. And I was amazed that they sponsored a gentleman who is all for abortion, namely a uh, certain Doug Duncan, who, according to the Silver Spring Cassette of 3rd August 1994, uh, said that he's all for abortion, is all for women's right to choose, and supported Question 6 here in Maryland in 1992, which gave Maryland one of the worst laws on abortion of all the states. And uh, Duncan said, according to the Washington Post, for the 11th August 1994, in an interview this week, I'm reading here, in an interview this week, Duncan said, quote, I support a woman's right to choose abortion. The choice it has nothing to do with my support of so-called Frank uh, Schur. Now, what amazed me, here were 85 Catholics sitting in front of this man who has openly come out for baby killing, and who has promoted the homosexuality, the gay pride and parade, and uh, nothing was said. I tried to get up at the end. I wasn't recognized uh, whether this was on purpose or not. I don't know. But uh, I think we're seeing something here that happens all over the country, where Catholic men and several priests in the audience sit by and listen to this politician uh, hiding away his abortionism while uh, telling them all about his uh, politics and his job, uh, talking about family life, uh, talking about the poor, etc., and so on, while totally neglecting the poorest of the poor, the unborn, whose slaughter he has favored again and again in his political life. I'm talking about uh, uh, Doug uh, Duncan, who is the executive of Montgomery County in Maryland. Our program today was a report on religious freedom. Is it alive and well? The Knights of Columbus have taken a firm stand against those who refuse to protect innocent human life. We take this stand as a matter of religious freedom. I would like to read from one of the resolutions in the Crusade for Life of the Supreme Council of the Knights of Columbus, which was passed during our National Convention in Kansas City, August 1 to 3, 1995. And here I quote, that we shall continue the activities of the Knights of Columbus at all levels to inform, educate, and motivate both its own members and the public at large, including public officials who take a so-called pro-choice position regarding the dignity and sanctity of human life at all stages, and the evil of abortion, euthanasia, assisted suicide, and other offenses against life and that we again affirm our policy of not inviting to any Knights of Columbus event persons, especially public officials or candidates for public office, who do not support the legal protection of unborn children against abortion, or who advocate the legalization of euthanasia or assisted suicide, or not allowing such persons to rent or otherwise use facilities over which we have control, and of not bestowing on them honors or privileges of our order of any kind, inviting them to serve as honorary chairpersons or events, celebrations or committees, or allowing them to hold any office in 
the Knights of Columbus. The end of the quote. We hope you have enjoyed this report on religious freedom. Is it alive and well? And until next time, keep your faith alive. Thank you for watching.